hello guys welcome back to uh, etaps video tutorials in this video tutorial we will work on a simply supported beam and like we will start from smaller things and we will proceed to bigger things so first we will do simply supported beam and then continuous then we might do some moving load analysis probably then we will move to frames and from there we will go to buildings and wind load and shear walls everything so let me just do simply supported beam for this video session so i'll open etaps and i'll say new model and i'll use built-in settings so my aisc will be 14 aisc 36010 steel design code concrete design code will be AI ACI 318 2014 I'll select OK now I can either select grid dimensions over here or I can well there are not many options in this so yeah I'll just go over here and say grid grid only and in grid let's say in X direction I need to and in one direction y direction one and i'll set 12 feet in x direction this will be one again now in order if you if you need for z so you enter the story data over here but right now we don't need anything okay that should be fine for now so i'll say select ok and you should be seeing grid alright so first thing um, well we can go to set display options over here and we can see what we want what we don't want objects present in view joint objects columns beams everything is good object assignments yeah that all right for now we'll we'll just go and do the beam so first as you know this is our draw beam column or brace icon or you can even go in draw and say draw beam column brace and draw beam column brace so once you select that you get this kind of uh, mouse pointer and you can select your grid I mean select your beam so once you create that you just select right click and it will disappear and then escape now as you see you have your beam over here now we need to assign properties to it so first I'll go to define I'll material properties and I'll say so I'll have a concrete beam so I'll say add new material and I'll say steel I'm sorry I'll say concrete if this depends on the region you stay so United States or India wherever and then your type of grid and concrete grid and then you select OK so that is fine weight will be 150 pcf that is good okay all right i'll select okay i'll select okay here i'll go to define section properties i'll say frame sections so in frame sections i'll say add new property or i can say concrete beam over here I'll say add new property I'll go to concrete rectangular section I'll say C-O-N-C-R-E-C -E rectangular 
I'll give the size as edge. 18 inches by 18 inches. So uh, we'll see about this reinforcement and stuff in the later videos. For now, we are just doing the simply supported beam, and we'll be seeing its shear movement and deflection stuff. So if you select OK over here, you can see over there you have C O N C R A C. Select OK. Now select your beam. You can go to assign. You can assign your section property. Select OK. You can see it's been applied to it. In order to view extruded view, you can just select 3D view and then go for display options. And display options, you should see extrude frames. Select OK. So as you can see, the extrude free uh, beam. Okay. Now going to next thing is we need supports. So I'll select the node. I'll go to assign joint restraints, and I'll say pin support. I'll select OK. Then I'll select that one. I'll say assign joint restraints. I'll apply roller support. I'll select OK. Now it's so small to see, but you can see roller support applied over there and also pin support over here. Okay, so now we need to apply load. So, what we'll do is we'll select the beam, we'll go to assign. So, we'll look into the load combinations, patterns, everything in the later videos. For now, we'll just assign some frame load, distributed load. That's fine, we have dead and live. So, I'll just say um, 5 kips per feet. Select OK. So you can see your frame loads. If you select display frame loads button over here, or you can even do over here. Alright, now let's leave it to that. Let's just go and analyze for now. We can change the load, we can increase the load if you want. We will go and select this button, or you can even go to analyze and say run analysis. And I'll save my model simply supported beam. So there you go, you can see your deflected, I mean deformed shape of your beam. And uh, looks like you can start your animation. Length is in inches. So maximum is one inch. Anyways, if you want the results, you can go in here, show deformed shape, and then you have display frame or forces. So I'll have dead load, my moment M3. I'll say show values at controlling stations on diagram and also select fill diagram so you can see the drawing has been filled and the moment is given to you so moment is in kips per feet kip feet so 96 kip feet 
and then uh, next thing we'll do a cat let's do the stresses I guess. yeah we can see even the reactions so we have 32 Let's go to share and display show values. Select OK so you can see 32.0.25 Yep So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted like, if you want to find your deflection at central point, we can what we can just do is we can just unlock this model and select your beam, go to edit. You say edit frames, divide frames, divide into two frames. I'll select OK. Now you can see there should be a node exactly in the center now you just run it and you can see your deflection value which is 0 0.081807 So you can find inches in here, I mean units in here. Okay guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and also comment below if you have any questions. In the next tutorial we will do a continuous beam with different sets of loading on the beam. Thank you.